200 mangrove saplings were replanted in the salt marsh area of Trelawney on Friday in observation of World Environment Week, which ends today, and World Oceans Day today. 50 volunteers helped with the planting in a partnership between the National Environment and Planning Agency, NEPA, the University of the West Indies Marine Lab in Discovery Bay, St. Anne, and Sandals Hotel and and foundation. They say the salt marsh area is being targeted because it is sandwiched by the major tourist areas of Ocho Rios and Montego Bay and is high demand for developments. We have persons with hundreds of acres of mangrove land that they cannot build a lot of structures on because NEPA will not allow them to build, develop. Um, all of their wetlands into into buildings and roadways and highways. So um, NEPA has a mandate now to actually, what they've been doing is actually bargaining with persons. If you're doing a conservation, if you're doing a development, you can develop some sections and leave the rest for conservation. Over a 20-year period, the country lost 770 hectares of mangroves, which are critical in protecting the island from storm winds, as well as providing habitats for many marine animals. Under a national wetlands management plan, Jamaica is trying to conserve over 5,000 hectares of mangroves and restore another 1,000 hectares between 2024 and 2034. Well, this particular community, um, it has, it's about... A little over 50 acres of mangroves or mangrove land originally about 12 acres of it has been developed persons live there shops and houses and homes so the plan with this project is to not have any more construction but to have the 30 acres which are remaining as mangrove to be mangroves in perpetuity